Hopefully you've all watched the first video on using the library's databases for your ethical issues class debate assignment. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the eBooks tab and the multimedia tab of your course LibGuide. If you do not know how to access your course LibGuide for searching library resources, please watch the first minute of the other video and it will show you how to navigate to your course LibGuide. We're now in the eBooks tab of your course LibGuide. Each one of the boxes that you see on this page represents a different company that we purchase eBooks from at HGTC Library. The two biggest collections that we have are through a company called EBSCO, and then the other is eBook Central. Between the two of them, there's about 400,000 eBooks. I'm going to go into eBook Central because it's the biggest of the two at about 200,000 books. Now, when we go into eBook Central, I'm going to do a search similar to some of the things that I did in the database searching video. Again, if you don't know specific search tips, I would recommend that you watch the first video on searching the databases where I highlight some of the tricks of using library resources. In this particular resource, I'm going to do a search for Common Core and state standards. Now, just as a quick reminder, phrases like common core or state standards can be put in quotation marks and you join them together using the word and. And does not have to be capitalized. I do it just simply so that you can see that I've put in two different concepts in my search. Here's your results list, and you'll notice that there are over 1,800 books that match this particular search. When you see one that looks interesting to you, simply click on the title. You can read a little description of what the book is about. You can read the book online. You can download it. And you can go in and see a proper APA citation for the book. Regarding the two links up here, I recommend simply going with Read Online. It's a lot faster than going in and downloading the book. And the book loads up as a PDF. It will load fairly fast on just about any kind of an internet connection. The other nice thing about going into an ebook like this is there is a search box where you can search for anything that you would like within the book. And then any pages that it appears on will be listed here and you can go through and look at each one of those pages to try and find information faster in what might be a relatively large ebook. The other thing that you can do is the table of contents is also listed on that page when you first click on the title of the book. So if you see a specific chapter that looks good to you, you can click on that link and go directly into the chapter itself. I'm not going to go into EBSCO ebook collection, but if you feel like ebooks would be something you'd be interested in viewing, the EBSCO collection is also a very good one to take a look at. Finally, we're going to look at the multimedia tab. This is where you'll find the library's streaming video providers. The two companies that we get our videos from are Films on Demand and Canopy. A quick word about Canopy before we go into Films on Demand. Canopy is mostly documentaries and independent cinema. You may find some videos in there that would be helpful to you in your research, but I would try Films on Demand first. Films on Demand is entirely scholarly videos and documentaries. You search it just like we did the databases in the other video and the eBooks. So let's say you wanted information about the amount of homework that students have and how much stress it causes them. You might identify your search terms or your keywords as homework and stress. Any videos that match that will come up in our search. Scroll through. When you find one that looks good to you, 
go ahead and click on it and you can immediately start watching that particular video. A couple of nice things about the videos in Films on Demand. They all come with a cite button so you can see how to cite the source in APA style. They also come with a transcript feature. The, the transcript feature allows you to see what is being said in the video. So if you want to take a direct quotation and put it in a Word document, you can highlight whatever is on the screen in the transcript and paste it into your document. So again, in summary, the best resources for your particular assignment are going to be the eBooks, databases, and multimedia tabs. As a quick side note, two other tabs that may be of interest to you. The Learning Support Services tab has information about the Tutoring Center and the Writing Center, two departments within the college that you may be interested in taking advantage of for this particular assignment. And then finally, the Get Help tab has information on all the different methods for contacting the library. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to the library and we'll be more than happy to provide you with assistance. Thanks for watching.